Hey there, this is Django and I have another uh, saber for you guys to take a look at. This is an Arm on Fire uh, Darth Bane. Uh, this saber is done in the uh, um, comic book uh, Dark Horse comic style. Um, basically it's, it's straight, it's not the novel style. Um, two ribbed uh, grips, center piece and a bottom piece. Um, very form-fitting and very flowing. Um, I have one of these myself. That's one of my uh, favorite savers. And it's really comfortable to use. And this uh, install was for um, Obi-Wan of the FX Savers forums. Uh, and he had a couple specific requests, so I'm going to go over uh, what I, I did exactly with the saber. Um, he uses his sabers for dueling, and so this is kind of set up to be uh, built for tough, as I like to call it. Um, there are pictures on FX of the uh, chassis, and you're going to get to see the back end chassis. But first, I'm going to turn the saber on. This is a, a new kill key I made. Um, this is a one of the regular cylinder hone ones, other than that. Um, but it's got a, a red a powder coat on it, so it's uh, going to be nice and durable. Well, at least the, the red wall, anyway. Um, he, uh, this is the main power here. And he likes his uh, switches static, but they are still programmable. And this is a uh, Tri Rebel set up with, in series, so they uh, and it will run a really long time because the uh, battery pack is two 18650s. The battery pack is set up in, in the chassis. There's a centerpiece here. Um, this is switches, and it's all kind of based around that. The uh, there's one 18650 here and one back here with the crystal focus sitting on top of it. So it's got a really long run time. Uh, okay, let me put a blade in this just so you can see that before we go into how to get it into the SD card area. For the main LED, I used uh, two deep reds and one regular red to give it a little bit of brightness. Because deep reds, while they are a nice red color, even at a, in a full power setup, they're far as bright regular reds. There's no flash on flash with the saber. It is set up that way. Okay. Now for the SD card access, um, you have to do a partial disassembly on the Sabre. Uh, you have to take off this and this in order to get to it. Okay. Yeah, just loosen it up. I want to hold the uh, MPI in place while I just turn this off. Yeah, if you turn it the right way. Pull this out of the way. Okay, then I have to take this off completely, which means unscrewing it from the recharge port. Now, put the kill key back in. Okay, and then we want to take off the uh, bottom grip here. And there we have our chassis. Okay, so um, to get SD card going access, you just flip this over to the side, 
and there you go. So I kind of um, borrowed some ideas from a few people here. Uh, I need to give them some credit. This uh, this setup is kind of inspired by uh, Vader's Vault Star Killer and uh, Mad Cow, uh, really with the back end setup like this. Um, as far as the uh, the LED goes, it um, he requested it uh, a different kind of red because it's normal red is too orangey, so that's why I used two deep reds and one regular red. Regular red is to give it a little bit of brightness. The first time I uh, I just ordered a regular uh, tri-roll deep red, and it was it was red, but it wasn't that bright. So that's why I ended up using the uh, um, two deep reds and one regular red. Okay, for reassembly, um, in the grip section here, there is a one and there is a P. P is for pommel, so you want to put one in first. And it will just easily turn on. Put you get down there tight. The fun part is putting this back on. Oops. Like I said, the fun part is getting it back on. Okay. Once this is uh, fully threaded back in to where it's nice and flush, you just slide it over the speaker pod to where it's uh, flat against, and then I Take and hold the uh, MPI in place. The accent LED pads are set. power off is enabled. The accent LED pads are, this is main power and it's number one and this is number two. So if uh, somebody else gets the saber, they can program it to not be solid or blink or, or whatever. Um, well, I can show you a comparison to, okay, I'm not sure it's going to be able to be seen on camera, but I do have a Tri-Rebel Red Red, regular reds then I can show you in comparison to this one. This is my uh, Ward Star Killer. I haven't done any kind of documentation for it yet. So. So this has a quad red in it because it could fit because this it's right past here, past the blade holder, it's open all the rest of the way down. So there's an upper room inside of it. Didn't have to do any machining for those are the big chassis in here. Anyway, it's got three reds, regular reds, um, wired in series. This is wired in series two, and they have the same um, settings inside. Uh, they are at 850. Since it's wired in series, it doesn't have to be that much. That's why these have 
really long run times. Okay. In person, the uh, Lord Star Killer has a little bit more orangey blade versus the uh, red, red, uh, the deep red of the uh, Arm on Fire Bane. And the Lord Star Killer is just a little bit brighter in person. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera. If you like the saver, thanks for looking. Later.